Hey guys, I'm Scott and welcome back to the Dynamics Post. Today we're going to talk about transfer orders, how to, how to ship them and how to receive them using AWMS. We're going to take a look at a, receiving from a non-AWMS warehouse and an AWMS warehouse. So stay tuned, we'll do that when we get right back. Recently I got a comment as a question on one of my videos asking me how you do transfer orders using Advanced Warehouse. And I realized that I'd never really done a video looking at, at transfer orders. I, I think I replied, you know, it's basically the same as a sales order process. And it's very similar, uh, pretty much the same setup. There is a little bit of difference whether you're receiving on the advanced where, from an Advanced Warehouse or a normal warehouse or a non-Advanced Warehouse. So I decided to go ahead and put, a, put together a video on that. So this the shipping side is exactly the same whether or not you're shipping to a non-AWMS warehouse or an AWMS warehouse. The process does differ a little bit if you're depending on if you're shipping from if you're receiving from an AWMS warehouse versus a non-AWMS warehouse. Okay, so it does show you. I pay attention to my comments. Feel free to leave a comment on any of the video. I enjoy I enjoy your uh, feedback. And if you like any of the videos, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps the distribution. That just helps me out. And if you like this type of content, please uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. I, I generally upload a video every week um, on some different content. So just um, if you'll hit subscribe, you'll get notified when, when I upload a new video. Okay. So what we're going to take a look at today is we're going to look at uh, three scenarios. We're going to do a ship to a non-AWMS warehouse. And like I said, regardless of if you're going to ship to a non-AWS or an AWS warehouse, uh, we're going to look at both scenarios, but the shipping is the same. And then we're going to do a receipt from a non-AWS warehouse, and then we're going to do a receipt from an AWS warehouse on a transfer order. All right, so I'm not really going to cover how you do the, the shipping status on a non-AWS warehouse for the transfer order. I'm not really going to show you that. Um, in the video, but um, I'm just going to kind of focus on the on the advanced warehouse processes. Okay, so in this first example, let's take a look at how you ship a transfer order using advanced warehouse. All right, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the transfer order shipping from an advanced warehouse. So a couple of little setups we need to take a look at real quick. So we're going to go into warehouse management and the setup, and let's go ahead and take a look at the location directives first. Under work order type, there is a type for transfer issue. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And we're going to use warehouse 24 today. Um, so you do need a pick and a put for your um, location directive. We, we looked at location directives a couple different times. So, um, so on the pick side, I'm just uh, defining my site and warehouse. All quantities basically is what I'm saying here. I'm picking only fixed locations. Now, normally under a real environment, you'd, you'd have more than one rule here, you know, look, look in bulk or look in other locations. But uh, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna look in fixed locations for the product. On the put side, uh, similar setup, I've got a directive code for bay door. I'm gonna use that on my work template. Uh, so basically I'm just picking from the fixed location and moving it straight to the bay door. So I've got a bay door directive code set here and the quantity is 1 to 999,000, so basically all quantities. And I'm just going to put to the bay door, and if I hit the edit query here, the location profile for my location is bay door. That's the only criteria that I'm using. All right, so similar, um, very simple setup on the work template. So if I go back to warehouse management underneath setup, let's go to work and then work templates. Um, again, I'm going to choose my transfer issue. And I have a work template set up for 24, and it's just a simple pick and put, right? And my work class is going to be transfer out. If I look at the query up here, I'm just specifying the, um, actually, I'm not specifying the warehouse. Let's just go ahead and do that. So temporary work transaction, we'll go ahead and specify the warehouse here in our, so this, so we're guaranteed that it's going to use this uh, template. So we'll go ahead and say okay to that. And we've got our, our Warehouse 24 template set up there. All right, so let's create a transfer order. And so we're going to go into Inventory Management. And we'll do Outbound Order and Transfer Order. And we'll do New. And our From Warehouse this time is going to be 24, and we're going to transfer to 21. So 24 is an uh, advanced warehouse. 21 is just a normal warehouse. On the, on the 
shipping side, it's not really going to matter. It's not, this could be advanced or non-advanced. It's, it's the same process regardless on that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit add. We're going to add an item number, H001. And we'll do transfer quantity. We'll just, we'll just leave it at one. That's fine. And then just like on the sales order side, you need to make sure you have a reservation. So we're going to go and go to reservations and I'm going to reserve that lot there. And there we go. And then, so on the um, shipment tab, we once we've released it, we can, or once we've uh, reserved it, we can do a release to warehouse. And that's generated workforce. So if we go ahead and take a look at the work here, so the work details will show us the work. It's just going to have us pick from FL001 and move it over to bay door. Okay. So let's go take a look at the mobile setup for just a second before we go into mobile. Um, so I'm going to go into warehouse management and I'm going to go to mobile device and mobile device menu items. So I'm going to scroll down here. I should have one for transfer order pick. There we go. Transfer pick. And, um, so this is going to use existing work because obviously we already have work, uh, set up. So it's going to be user directed. Um, basically everything else is no, our work class is going to be transfer out. I can tell you what I will do here. I'm going to go ahead and have it generate a license plate for us. So I don't have to type one in. So I'll go ahead and have it do that. All right. So now we have the work and we have our mobile device menu item. So let's go ahead and copy this work ID. And we'll go over to the um, mobile device. And I'll go ahead and log into that. And let's go. This is going to be an outbound transaction. So it's going to be under my outbound menu. And then we're going to do our transfer pick. And we'll go ahead and enter in our work ID. Go ahead and hit OK. And this item is under, it's, it's in this location. It's under um, license plate 24. So I'm going to put license plate 24 there and say OK. And here's the license plate it's going to generate for me. I'm going to copy that just because we'll need that later. And we're going to go ahead and say OK. And then that's going to move to the bay door and that's going to hit OK. All right. So now that that work has been completed. And I said I needed that license plate for later. I really don't. Sorry about that. All right. So if we go back, let's close this out. And if we if we just kind of look at the transfer order, notice it's still at a created state. But our work is closed. So if I go back to our work details, our work is closed. So what we want to do here is we're just going to go to the shipment details and we're going to confirm the shipment. All right, so I'm going to, I'm in here in the shipment and you know, we've done this a lot. I'm just going to hit confirm shipment. Shipment's marked as shipped. Now if we go back to the transfer order and hit replay, uh, re refresh, that transfer order has now been shipped. Now on the uh, warehouse 21 side, they're going to follow the, the normal standard. I'm not going to show that it's just a standard how you'd receive a, a transfer order in a non-AWMS warehouse. You're just going to follow the same process there on that one. Okay, so that was the shipment from a, an AWMS warehouse to a non-AWMS warehouse. In the third example, not in this next example, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you the complete process if you're going to ship from an AWS warehouse to an AWS warehouse. I'm gonna show you the shipping and the receiving side both on, on those. But this next example, what I'm gonna show you is gonna be a receipt from a non-AWS warehouse to an AWS warehouse, okay? So let's take a look at that one next. Alrighty, so in this example, we're gonna be doing a receiving in warehouse 24, and we're gonna receive um, a transfer order from a non-AWS warehouse. So 21 is a non-AWS. So what I've done is I've generated a transfer order 55 that's from warehouse 21 going to warehouse 24 for one of an A001. And since this is a normal non-AWMS warehouse, I, I've gone ahead and shipped this transfer order. So I generated a pick list and did a pick and list registration, shipped the transfer order just like you normally would in a normal environment. So this transfer order is marked as shipped. Before we go to the mobile though, let's go ahead and let's look at the menu setup. So if I go to uh, warehouse management and set up mobile device menu items, I should have one here for transfer receiving, which is right here. And I'm going to do a two-step process. Know that there is a single step process just like there is on the PO side. Um, just I'll, I'll show you the difference here in the work creation process. But uh, what we're going to have here is we're going to 
we're going to do a transfer receive. The mode is going to be work. The work doesn't exist yet, so we're going to say no. And the work creation process is going to be transfer order. Item receiving is what we're using here. Um, you also have the option of doing line receiving. That's where you put in the line number of the transfer order. And then here's where you, if you wanted to do a single step process where you just did them all in one step, there is the option to do a transfer order item receiving and put away. We're going to do a two step process with a receiving and a put away. So I'm going to leave that at receiving. I am going to need a license plate. So I'm going to have that generated for me automatically. Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and do the transfer put away menu. Take a look at that. So if I go to the transfer put away, again, we're using work as a mode. The receiving step is going to generate work. So on the, on the put away, we're going to say use existing work. And a lot of times I have uh, system directed, but uh, this, or user directed, but this time I'll have system directed where it's just going to give me the next one to pick or to put away. And then my work class is going to be trans, transfer in. Okay. Now, just like on the issue side, if we go and take a look at our location directives here, we've got a receipt side for our transfer order. So if we go to transfer receipt under the location directive, again, we're using warehouse 24. So very simple um, uh, location directive. We only need a put, we don't need the pick side. Uh, warehouse two, uh, site two, warehouse 24, all quantities. First, I'm looking for a fixed location and then it'll just go to any location, okay? Same thing, we need a work template. So if I go to warehouse management, set up work templates and take a look at the transfer uh, receipt sign. We've got a single uh, transfer receipt here. Let's take a look at the query here and make sure I've got a warehouse defined. So I've got a warehouse 24 defined in my criteria and it's just a simple pick and a put, okay? So that's the setup. So we have our transfer order here. So we're going to go in, we're going to need that transfer order number. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that transfer order 55. And this is going to be an in, so I'm going to switch over now to my mobile device and this is going to be an inbound process. So I'm going to do a transfer receive. And then it's going to ask me for the transfer number. I'm going to uh, enter that in. The item, I can scan that, but I'm going to type that in here, A0001. It comes up line number one and it's asking me how many, so I'm going to put one in there and I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now that's completed. OK. So um, if we go back now, we, work was created for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the work that was generated for that. Uh, so we're going to go under warehouse management um, and then we're going to go to work and then all work. And then we should see some work generated for transfer 55. Let's click in that work and just see what it looks like. So it's basically asking us to pick it up from the receiving location and, and put it into location FL001. So this receipt location is the same as the default receiving location. Works very similar to the purchase order receiving. You can uh, take a look at that video and um, and see how where, the, where these things are defined, but uh, follows basically the same flow as a purchase order receipt. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and do the put away step. Now, since this is system directed, when I go into the transfer put away, it should pull it up for me. And there it is. It's going to, it's already got everything filled in. Item A001 for one. I'm going to pick that up. And then I'm going to put that into FL001 and then hit OK. OK, so in this last example, we're going to take a look at the complete process. So I'm, we're going to create a, a, a transfer order. We're going to ship from Warehouse 24, which is the is an AWMS warehouse. We're going to ship to Warehouse 61, which is an AWMS warehouse. And then we're going to receive in, in, in Warehouse 61. So we'll show the complete process. And like I said, this is a little different than the, um, than the non-AWMS. So just pay attention to the mobile menu items that I'm using. Okay, so for this third example, we're going to go from AWMS to AWMS. So we're going to have Warehouse 24, which is an AWMS warehouse to Warehouse 61, which is an AWMS warehouse. And I've got a transfer order here that I've created, same item number, I haven't released it yet. So we'll go through the entire process in the end here now for AWMS to AWMS, okay? So now I've already got a reservation on this item, so all I'm gonna do here is on the ship tab of the transfer order, I'm gonna go ahead and hit release to warehouse. Um, that, that's created uh, work for me. So if I go ahead and go look at the work detail in Warehouse 24, um, it's just telling me to take um, 
FL00, take the item from FL001 and it in the bay door. So I'm going to copy that work ID there. And I'm going to go to my mobile device. And this is the same step we used earlier. So I'm going to go to my outbound side and go and do my transfer pick. And we'll pick that, paste that in there. And license plate again on this item I'm picking. It is 24. It's going to generate a license plate for me. Now I am going to need it this time. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And it's telling me to put it to the bay door. Okay. So that's done. Well, sorry, one more step. So if I, the work is done, so I've, I've got that done. And so the next step you need to do is confirm the shipment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the, on the transfer order, we're going to go to shipment details. We're going to go to, um, and confirm the shipment. All right. So we're going to go confirm the shipment. That shipment's been confirmed. Now, if we go and look at the transfer order, it's marked as shipped now. All right, so let's take a look at the Warehouse 61 side, all right? So if you remember on a transfer order menu, we needed the um, needed the transfer order. So let's go over here to back to our mobile device. And um, we're going to go, it's going to be Warehouse 61. So I'm going to change my warehouse first. So I'm going to change warehouse and I'll switch it from 24 to 61. All right, go back. And so now on 61, this is going to be an inbound side. So if you remember before, we just did a transfer receive and it's asked us for our transfer order number. So I'm going to paste that in there and go and hit enter. And the item is A0001. And what, what it's going to tell us is the transfer order must be received using LP license plate receiving. So you, if you're, if you're receiving from a, uh, advanced warehouse, you're going to get this, this error when you, um, when you're trying to receive it. Okay. So let's take a look at the menu item that we need to set up for that. So we're going to go to transfer back to our, our mobile menu items. If we look at transfer, receive LP, um, the mode is going to be work. It's not going to use existing work, but there's one that's called license plate receiving and put away. Okay. So this is going to be a, a single step process here for you. We can do this as a two step if we wanted to as well. Okay. Here's an option there for a two step. So in, instead of using the, uh, the transfer put away or transfer receive option, we're going to do transfer receive LP. All right. So then that's going to ask us for that license plate that was generated. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get that back and copy that for us. And that's, that's the license plate we generated when we were picking it and go ahead and say, okay. So then it pulls up the information for that license plate for 56 item a triple one for quantity of one. I'm just going to say, okay. All right, so it's going to tell us to pick it up from the receive location, item A001. We're going to say OK. And it's going to tell us to put it in this location. We're in uh, Warehouse 61, so it's going to tell us to put it into this location. Still going to leave it under this license plate. We're going to say OK there, and then we're done. And I just want to mention, I didn't mention that on the last time we did a receive. Once, once you do that step, the transfer order gets marked as received, so there's really nothing else that you really need to do on the transfer order side. Um, after you've actually received it through AWMS. Okay, so as you can see, the transfer order process follows along with the sales order process fairly closely. There's a couple of differences, like I said, on the AWMS versus non-AWMS receiving, but basically the same process, definitely for picking side, there's, there's, um, it's the same, and then the, in the receiving side, basically follow, it's gonna follow the purchasing receiving side of things. So the transfer order is not that much different than what we, we know already, okay? So I hope you liked this video, enjoyed the content. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I put one of these videos out about once a week. Um, so feel free to subscribe if you wanna get notified when I release a new video. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.